Kenahan. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I welcome also the chance to speak on this debate. And it's a phenomenally important debate because it's a debate that should frame the whole debate on our education system. And it's a pity it's all squeezed into just an hour and a half. The Ulster Unionist Party supports certain aspects of, of the initial motion, calling to see children educated in it, integrated education. However, there is so much more to education than just that, and I find it sli slightly hard to listen to other schools being painted as maybe the cause of violence, or at the same time ignoring the fact that state schools, in many cases, do share and are extremely good examples of it. But I do think we need to congratulate all our teachers and particularly congratulate the integrated um, sector for its success and all the hard work that they do. And I also support the motion where it says to call on the department to honour their obligation because I think there is an obligation to look at integrated education but there's also an obligation to look further at shared education. However, the motion put forward by the Alliance Party totally disregards the role that can be played by the controlled, maintained and the voluntary grammar schools. And hard work and persuasive argument will ultimately be what leads to a single education system, not the promotion of any individual sector above another. We know that there are now some 21,000 being educated by integrated education, up from 8,000. We also know that there were some 500 who were turned down the chance of integrated education. And yet within all of this, as we've heard already, there is the need at all times for parental choice. But that's not just the choice for integrated, that is the choice for faith, for Protestant, for Catholic, for mixed, and all types of schooling. In today's plethora of change that's going through the education, Sometimes it seems as if all of that has been forgotten. If we look at the programme for government, we see it purports to support shared education, and yet we see little of it happening. If we look at area planning, we see two separate streams with a little bit of integration, but not enough. If we look at ESA, we see it as even worse, ignored again. No places on the board reserved for integration. Nothing in there to encourage shared education. And yet, my statistics had 70% of parents wanting integration. And yet we hear from Mr. Lunn it's 80%, when at the moment all we actually provide is 7%. Yes, I'll give way. I wonder would the member agree with me that indeed, uh, I take the point you make about uh, ESA and so on, but that there is a huge deficit in the Belfast Education and Library Board and the South Eastern Education and Library Board in particular, where there is not the voice of parents in either board through their political representatives and the failure of the Minister to appoint eligible members who have gone through the SIFT for the BELB and indeed to address the issue of three commissioners running the South Eastern Education and Library Board makes a very great difference to the functioning of both bodies. This time. Thank you very much indeed, and I do um, very much agree with, with the member. I feel throughout the whole education system, we do not have a good system of actually listening to parents or indeed listening to teachers. If we are to respect religious belief, we must also remember we need to respect those that don't have the same strength in their religious belief. And it's essential that all the way through our edu education that we set up something that leads towards this single shared education system that the DUP mentioned today and we as a party have been pushing um, for a great length of time. We need to find a way of coaxing and massaging everything so that everyone works towards the single education system. But it's one that get, you get there by sharing and not just through integration. We have some 1,225 schools and yet from my brief time in the Education Committee, I see only five or six examples coming through in area planning at the moment of shared education, with good examples in Ballycastle, Crumlin, Moy, and in Dunneen to the north of uh, my patch, all very cleverly looking at different ways to find a way forward. But what we really need from the Minister is a framework 
We need, and I've called for this before, an agreed framework. Some, something along the lines of the Belfast Agreement. No, I'd like to carry on, thank you. Where we have consensus on the way forward, where we actually sit down and discuss the way forward so that we're all going in the same direction. That is what's really missing. And Mr. Speaker, I cannot wholly support the Alliance Amendment because the last three lines of it are actually impractical and not things that we can put in place. I'd like the idea of where we're going, but I do fully support the DUP Amendment. I like the idea, and as a party we like the idea, of the parity for esteem and the need, especially the need for sectoral bodies of all types. We need to get an education system that actually looks after everybody. So as a party, we support the amendment. Thank you. Irvin Story.